Okay, so how do we rebuild this thing? Uh, first of all, you gotta break this nut loose. Uh, use a air driven impact wrench or a big battery one. I used a half inch drive Milwaukee, took it right off. And these are super, super easy to take apart. So once that's off, you just pull the pulley off. And then this whole housing will slide right off the shaft. It's a slip fit, it's not pressed together. So first of all, what we see on top is the little bushing that the seal seals against. And this seal is obviously leaking, what a greasy mess here. And then right in here is the lip seal, which you will have to dig out with a screwdriver or something. And then the same thing on the bottom, the bushing is kind of stuck on the shaft here, but same thing on the bottom. So what I will do next is drive, drive the bearings out. And to do that, I take this it's like a piece of half inch stock I got. I just kind of made my own drift. Just shove it inside, push, the, there's a spacer in there, push that off the side, drive right against the bearing and just kind of work, work your way around and it should come right out. I think the bottom one is a slip fit actually and the top is pressed in. I might have that backwards, but again, it's super easy. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, this is chucked in the vise now. Uh, you don't have to chuck it in real hard. Uh, it's just You just wanna rest it on there and crank the vise down enough just to hold it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna distort it or risk cracking the aluminum case here. All right, let's see if we can drive this bearing out. Try that again. Oh yeah, that's coming right out. Boom, boom, boom. Everything just fell out. I recommend putting a box or something to catch the parts because I just bounced greasy parts all over the floor and now I have to clean my floor. Lip seal came right out. Always, always replace these. There's the bearing. There's a nice Koyo 6204C4 bearing. And you know what? This one feels pretty good. It pays to grease stuff. And it pays pays to be able to get grease in here. No seals. You rely on this seal to keep the grease in. It's a better system than the, uh, the cheaper 100 series stuff. Okay, I'm gonna drive this bearing out and this seal out, and then we'll start rebuilding. Okay, now I got the spindle housing uh, just resting in the vise here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my new bearing in. Oh, you know what? That sounds nice. We need to pack this with grease first. Remember, this is a slip fit, so it just drops right in there. So let's pack it with uh, grease and then drop it in. Okay, so to pack it with grease, I'm gonna put a wad of grease right in my hand here. Just like that. And then I'm going to hold the bearing like so and just bite into it. And you can see it already coming through the spaces. Uh, this is actually kind of fun if you have gloves. Uh, if you don't have gloves, it's actually not a lot of fun. I'm gonna need a little more. Okay, now that that's full of grease, I'm going to just drop it right into the spindle housing. And there we go. Now, i got to get rid of these. I'll never get these clean. 
Okay, let's try to get the seal in next. So here's a brand new seal. And gee, which way does it go? Uh, so typically with a lip seal like this, the open end of the seal can, that's the metal part, will go inside. And then you want to be able to, you want to drive this in nice and straight. Uh, if you drive it in crooked or if you use a punch or something and point load it anywhere, you'll distort the can, distort the seal, and the seal will not live very long. So I'm just going to gently tap it with the handle of the screwdriver. It's going in. It's not very flat. So if you have trouble, a uh, flat piece of steel or something across the top, and then maybe pound it in the center with something heavy, I'll give that a shot. Actually, let's try this block of wood. There, that worked pretty good. It's got to go all the way down there, though. It's got to touch up against the bearing. So to do that, I'm going to drive it with this old bearing. Try to center it the best I can. Goes in pretty easy. It's going in. And you'll feel it touch up against the bearing. Then it, it feels very hard. Don't, don't hit it real hard. Just hit it enough till it sets up. Yeah. That's good and solid. I'm going to work some grease around that lip seal. Make sure it gets lubrication when it goes together. Okay, now we have to get the spacer in, the top bearing, and the seal. And then after that, this whole assembly will slide onto the shaft in the reverse order that we took it apart. Easy part. You can center it in there, but it's going to move around a little bit. I went ahead and packed the bearing ahead of time. Now this one's a press fit, so what we'll have to do is get it set in there the best we can. And then uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to drive it in until it stops. And we'll use an old bearing as a driver. And we want to get it in as straight as we can. I'll use the wooden block trick again. Get it started. It's going. That's a pretty good start. Here's one of the old bearings. Just got to work your way around. going in pretty easy. Okay, I felt it touch up. Feels good and solid. That looks really good. Now it's time for the seal. And once this one is flush, you're done. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of grease from inside. 
put it all over the lip. Okay, let's see if we can get it on the shaft now. Okay, I got the shaft in, got this, got this bushing on. Uh, I got grease purged out, ready to go. Just gonna slowly put this over the shaft. See if it goes over the seal. Actually, let's see if see if we can put this bushing in here first. Might be easier. There we go. That was actually easier. And then I could I could manipulate the uh, bushing a little bit so it didn't roll the seal lip. Okay. Next, we need the other bushing. Grooves toward the inside. This one's a little more of a challenge because the uh, seal lip wants to roll. It tells me it's a good tight fit. That's, that's good. I mean, that's what you want. I'll just kind of spin it and push down. There it goes. That looks really good. Next, I'm going to install this aftermarket pulley. Then the nut. So I can't really find a torque spec for this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just hammer on it gently with my impact wrench until the nut stops. I already got it touched up, so I'm gonna set my torque wrench on its lowest setting and see how that behaves. I think that's pretty good. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't sit for five minutes on the torque wrench and, and hammer on it. Um, but a few ugga duggas I think will be fine. What's gonna happen is your assembly is gonna compress and every, everything's gonna come together and touch up and this nut's just gonna stop. Uh, if you could put a torque wrench on it, what you'd find is it would turn pretty easily and then touch up right away and then your torque will instantly jump up. I think that's what's going on here anyway. You know what? I got an idea. I think I'm gonna take one of my new uh, John Deere spindles and mark the nut and then try to do a return to mark torque on it and see how that works okay so here i've got a brand new fully assembled out of the box john deere spindle and i've made a mark from the nut onto the pulley and i'm going to take my torque wrench and break it loose and then return the nut to its mark and see what it takes to do that so I've got my impact wrench on its lowest setting. I'm gonna see if that breaks it loose. That wasn't enough, so I'm gonna bump it up a notch. It's starting to come loose. These are pretty tight. Okay, it's starting to come loose now. So these can handle quite a bit of torque. I don't think I got a torque wrench big enough to tighten this back up. So I'm gonna put it back on. See if it stops back at that mark. Went slightly past it. Now I know about what it takes to reinstall the pulley. So I'm gonna take my rebuilt one and hammer on it for a few seconds at the second highest torque setting. OK, 
Okay, let's give that a shot. All right. It turned a little bit and then it kind of stopped turning. It slowed way down and I think I'm going to call that good. Now it pretty much matches the other one. 